my lovely Aries. Aries, are you ready? This is your reading for September 2024. And Aries, wow. The only thing that came through in meditation was a song by Bob Marley, Exodus. The basic meaning is the departure of a group of people, but it can also suggest freedom and liberation. So Aries, you could be ending a situation or it could be that a group of people have detached from you. There is a sense, though, that something is really done, really, really done. I mean, no going back. So Aries, let's get into this reading. I'm really hoping for you guys it's not going to be a sort of heavy reading, but we will see. I never know what's going to come through. The deck that I'm using is the Vintage Tarot. Everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a reading and the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. Yeah, I'm hearing that Bob Marley song, Exodus. Weird, because I haven't heard that for 10, 15 years, 20 years maybe. Can't remember when it came out. Anyway, Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. September 2024. I'm hearing that the dark days are over. The dark days are over. Holy moly, Aries. Oh, that was a strange cut. Do we carry on, Michael? Yes, we do. Okay, all right, just checking. The King of Wands. So Aries, you're coming through as a masculine. You're taking charge. You're taking charge, Aries, Eight of Pentacles. You're working diligently on your stability. Are you working on getting out of a situation, Aries? Exiting a situation, Exodus? In the past, the Two of Pentacles, deliberating as to whether or not you should do this. What are the ramifications? What are the pros and cons of me leaving? Okay. After that time, Ace of Pentacles, after that time, Aries, you may have got together a lump sum of money. It might have been in preparation for leaving. Or you may have separated yourself and decided to live separately from someone or from a group of people. In your thoughts now, the death card. So you could be thinking of a Scorpio or what you're thinking about is major change and transformation. In the immediate future, Aries, the Four of Swords. This is you taking a respite. This is you maybe even healing. You're quite tired, Aries, because this may have taken a lot out of you emotionally, psychologically. In your fears, Interesting, the Eight of Cups, you're fearing actually doing this. You're fearing doing this. It's as if you know you want to. You're preparing to exit a situation. But when it actually comes down to it, you're feeling a bit nervous. I'm not surprised. This is a big deal. In the environment is temperance. The angels are with you, Aries. You may be thinking about a Sagittarian for some of you. In your hopes after that time, Ace of Cups, hoping for new love. Beautiful. The outcome, the High Priestess. Okay. Clarification, Aries, judgment. 
Sagittarian energy, making a very serious judgment call. Knight of Cups, making a decision for love or making a decision to tell someone how you feel. Whoever is sat in the energy of temperance, the chariot, Cancerian energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. I can't tell at this moment, Aries, whether or not this is someone that you're moving towards or someone that you're leaving behind. We will see. But the outcome is either you not talking to someone or the outcome could be you keeping a secret or you may be connecting intuitively, psychically with a high priestess, potentially a Cancerian or a Pisces. Underneath the deck, Aries, we have the hanged man. I don't know why I'm feeling really uncomfortable looking at this card. This is somebody strung up almost by his hair, but he's strung up almost in a painful way because someone's lifting him up to see the bigger picture. So it may have been painful, Aries, for you to see the bigger picture. The King of Swords. You may have been self-sacrificing for a long time. Or with a King of Swords, you know the truth and you're going to speak your truth. The Hierophant is next to that. Aries, why do I get the impression that you're wanting to march towards someone to say, I'm leaving and that's that? I'm relocating, or you could even have moved to another area already. But you're thinking about tempering the desire to completely end a situation. And you plan on moving towards someone to say, I love you. I've made a decision that I want to be with you. I want to build a life with you. But the truth is, I'm staying married with the Hierophant. It may be something like that. Now, that may not be the case. You may be saying to someone, I'm seeking legal advice to get out of a marriage. It may be that you want to speak the truth to someone about a Torian. Maybe there was a situation here that you had to deal with with a Torian or a Cancerian. We will see. We will see. So let's get into this Aries and find out what this is all about. Archangel Michael, why is Aries sat in the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles? Working on taking action, Aries. Looking at your finances. Because with the Five of Pentacles, you're either struggling financially or you're feeling left out in the cold. The Hermit, feeding on your own feeling disconnected. You may, Aries, for some of you, be thinking about a Virgo at this time. What are you considering here? You're considering the energy of the Emperor, which again is you. I think you're married, but feel left out in the cold. What's on your mind? The Seven of Wands, you're very defensive. You're very defensive. And with the Four of Cups, Aries, you're not very happy. I mean, look at this person. It's as if, yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm an emperor, but I don't really feel like an emperor. I'm not really happy with my situation. Yeah. So Aries... You feel left out in the cold, but you have been defensive. So, I mean, one would normally say if you want to feel included, if you want to gather people around you, then you lower your defences. But you don't seem to want to do that. 
So you're defending something, but you haven't been happy. In the past, Aries, with the Two of Pentacles, you may have been juggling money. You may have been trying to make a decision. What were you thinking about in the past? The lovers. You may have been contemplating moving into a lover situation. Or you may have been considering a lover you know, well, I'm not happy in my long-term relationship, so I want to find someone that will give me the love and attention I need. Three of Swords. But whatever happened in the past, Aries, you could have had an affair with someone. It brought heartbreak. It was heartbreaking for you. It didn't work. It didn't work. It ended very quickly. Maybe, Aries, the other person was single and wanted a commitment and you had to admit that you were married, you know, and it was very painful. Whatever this lover situation was in the past, it was heartbreaking and it ended. After that period of time, Aries, you may have relocated or you may have lived apart from your partner or you might have been getting together a lump sum of money to exit a situation. So what was the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate past? Hmm. The Eight of Wands. So Aries, you may have put plans in place to move or you may have communicated with someone that you were wanting to leave. Page of Wands. There may have been communication about a child with a page of wands. Or you told someone that you wanted to relocate, you wanted to move, and someone else was very happy about that. This could have been a lover that you met in the past. So you may have communicated with a lover that you were separating from a partner, and they were very excited about that. But at the time, Aries, in the immediate past, you were still locked into a marriage, I feel. You may still be married. Who are you communicating with? A Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So you may have been communicating with a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, whom you wanted to be with. All right. Now... What you're thinking about, Aries, is the death card. You could be thinking of a Scorpio. You're looking at major change and transformation. But with a Five of Cups, there's a sense of either I don't think I want to do this or still a sense that you may not feel you're heading in the right direction. What are you thinking about here, Aries? The Queen of Swords. Thinking about someone who's a bit brash, a bit harsh, someone suspicious, somebody questioning you. What is this upset about? The Moon. Aries, what you're fearing is if you put this plan in place, this Queen of Swords is going to find out what you tried to hide with the moon and be very angry with you. What's the energy of the Queen of Swords? We've got two queens coming through, Aries. Okay, the Queen of Swords is kind of waiting for you to come back, waiting for her ships to come in with you. So Aries, have you decided to switch direction? You might have, but there is a sense of guilt. There is a sense of, oh, I don't know if I should do this. Mm, this woman's not going to be happy. She could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. She may have been a Gemini that you met in the past and had an affair with. She ended things. It was heartbreaking for you because maybe she didn't want to get involved because you were still married, you know. You may then have met a Queen of Pentacles who might have said to you, well, it's not ideal, but um, if you physically leave your partner, if you move out of living with your partner, 
then I guess that's okay. And this may be the woman that you've decided to be with. But you're really nervous because there may be an air sign queen who is still kind of waiting for you to come back to her. But what you're hiding, Aries, is in the nicest sense, you're not going back to her. You're moving forward with someone else. But you're worried the secret's going to come out. So this Queen of Swords may be keeping tabs on you. She may still be communicating now and again with you. Whereas what you're thinking about is, no, 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 I'm moving forward with a Queen of Pentacles. But all this is going on in your mind, Aries, whilst you're still married to another woman. Right? So these two queens, this Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, Aries, were lovers in your life. So in the immediate future, we have the Four of Swords. You're really thinking about things here, Aries, really contemplating this. And the person in the environment who you are talking to about leaving them or talking to about being with them is sitting in a temperate energy. They're just sitting in a temperate energy. They could be a Sag, they could be a Cancerian, they could be an Earth sign. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Four of Swords and the Temperance card for Aries? Thank you, Michael. Hmm. Okay, strange. I'm actually hearing the 28th of July. Archangel Michael saying something significant may have happened on the 28th of July. Okay. He's now telling me the 4th and 5th of October. Michael's just showing me a night sky. Somebody looking up at the night sky with stars. Okay, let's have a look at the energy of temperance. What is this person's energy? So either Aries, this is someone you're leaving or this is someone you're wanting to be with. The Six of Swords. Whoever this person is, they're sitting in a temperate energy. They want to move to calmer waters with you. They want to patch things up. Oh, my throat chakra closed right up then. The Ten of Wands. They're very burdened. They're looking at you, but you're not communicating with them. You're thinking about things. You're feeling a bit drained. What's this person's energy? They're in their head, Eight of Swords. It's as if they don't know what you're going to do. What is this person's energy? The Four of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, this is someone who's desperately trying to hang on to you. They want to hang on to you. They're also wanting to hang on to their money. What is this person thinking about? Anything else? The Magician. Okay. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. Aries, this is someone who was trying to manifest holding on to you. They're also trying to manifest holding on to money. They're very stressed with the Ten of Wands. And this is someone who wants to race in to talk to you about money or they're wanting to race in to say to you, I feel, let's patch things up. Anything else? The Nine of Swords. All right, this is someone who's having sleepless nights. This is someone very, very stressed. They're very, very stressed. Because with the Nine of Cups, Aries, they may have been overindulgent. This is somebody that you may have supported financially, totally. You may have given this person everything they ever wanted. And what they're realizing now, Aries, is they're losing you. You're moving on to be with someone else. And this is someone racing towards you. They may be wanting to talk to you about money. Well, OK, you're leaving, Aries, but are, are you going to keep supporting me? Are you going to give me money? This is someone very stressed because they may know that they've been overindulgent. They may have been a bit demanding, Aries. 
this is your long-term partner. I've got to be honest, this is your long-term partner. She may be codependent on you. What's her energy? She's sitting in a lot of emotional confusion. Oh my goodness, what is Aries up to? Uh, what What is Aries doing here? Because I think, Aries, you recently moved to another area or you said to this person, I feel as if it might be time for us to separate. They don't know what's going on with you, Aries. You may be needing to have a conversation with this person to say, I'm exiting the situation totally. But you're very, very worried about doing it because of their reaction. It's almost as if you wanted to let this person know that you were thinking of ending the relationship, potentially by moving to live elsewhere, almost to sort of soften the blow. Now they want to know what you're doing. Well, Aries, are we patching things up because I don't want to lose you? I want to hang on to you. Whereas you're thinking you want to be with a Queen of Pentacles, potentially a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn that you're passionately messaging. Yes, we're going to live together. On top of that, Aries, you seem to have a Queen of Swords who's very stressed, assuming that you're going to come back to sort of claim her. Could have been an ex-lover. She's still waiting for her ships to come in with you. So Aries, you seem to have a past lover who's a queen of swords, who isn't happy, assuming that if you leave your relationship, you're going to contact her. She's waiting for you. You've then got a queen of pentacles, who I think you've decided to move forwards with into a living together situation. She's on board. And you've got your long term partner who wants to know what's going on. So Aries, this is complicated. Guys, this is complicated. What are you going to say to your long-term partner? She doesn't want to let you go, Aries. She's worried that she's going to lose her financial security because I think she's been codependent. All right, Aries, yeah, the world. As far as you're concerned, you're closing out the cycle. What are you closing out here, Aries? The two of swords. It's as if it's done, it's over with, I'm going to have a conversation with my partner and then I'm just going to detach. And then I'm just going to detach. What else are you thinking about? The Ace of Wands. You want a passionate new start, Aries. You want a passionate new start. And you want justice somehow for maybe supporting your partner being compassionate and understanding with your partner whilst she's been overindulgent. So basically, what you're thinking about is, I deserve to be happy. I've been financially supporting this long-term partner who's been overindulgent for years, whereas I've been really unhappy, feeling left out in the cold, struggling financially, right? Struggling to support this overindulgent, codependent partner. So Aries, you're doing the right thing for you. You want justice. You may be considering seeking legal advice to get out of your marriage. But you know your long-term partner is not wanting to let you go because she's had it easy with you, Aries. She may have been enjoying a lovely sort of stay-at-home existence, not having to work, you know. And all that's going to end, Aries, because I think you're deciding... To exit the situation. I keep hearing exodus. What else are you thinking about? Page of Pentacles. What you ideally want to do, Aries, is to give your long-term partner a small amount of money to release you somehow. To release you. You may be offering her child support if she has a child, if you two have a child. Why would you just give her a small amount? Because you found out something. You had a tower moment. You had a tower moment about something. Oh, OK, that maybe with the Nine of Pentacles, she was acting young, free and single whilst you were financially supporting her. 
that was a tower moment for you. It's as if, wow, whilst I'm supporting my wife financially, stay-at-home wife, she's behaving behind my back as if she's young, free and single. She may have been cheating on you, Aries. So what you're deciding to do is give her a small amount of money and if she kicks up a fuss, what you plan on saying is, well, look, I financially supported you. You've been codependent on me for years and you've been cheating on me. So I'm sorry, that's all you're getting. <laughs> you're being uh, quite assertive. What is the energy between you two? Yeah. I think this relationship has drained you, Aries. I don't think your partner wants to let you go because she's had it so good for so long. But you're deciding it's time. You are fearful of walking away. You are. But I think at this point, Aries, you feel you need to. You need to. Not you want to, you need to. Okay. Of course, what you're hoping is to move into a beautiful new love relationship. But with the High Priestess as the final card, you may be keeping something quiet from someone else. So what is the energy of the High Priestess? The Two of Wands. You're standing at crossroads, Aries, about revealing the truth to someone. What is the truth? Well, we know what the truth is, yeah. But you're moving in a new direction with the Wheel of Destiny. And with the Page of Swords, that's the truth. That's the painful truth. You're moving in a new direction. So what's the truth? What's the truth? Okay, the Empress. Aries, the truth seems to be that what you may be keeping quiet about is that you're not totally ending your marriage. Not totally. That's the truth. But that's what you're not comfortable in expressing. High Priestess, Two of Wands, I'm still standing at crossroads. I haven't ended my marriage. But the other truth is, I am moving into a new cycle with a Queen of Pentacles while still staying married to my Empress. So yes, Aries, that's the truth. But you don't want to release that secret to someone. And the secret is, you're separating from your karmic partner. You've had a conversation about this. She doesn't want to let you go, but she may not have a choice. To move into a living together situation with a Queen of Pentacles. Now, the only person that you'd want to keep this quiet from is a Queen of Swords, who is still expecting you to sort of come back to her and commit to her. She's waiting for her ships to come, Aries, whereas what you're planning on doing is moving into a living together situation with a Queen of Pentacles and staying married to your Empress. So you've got a lot going on in your mind. Why are you staying married to your Empress still? I mean, she will be happy financially. Okay, because you want to keep your Ten of Pentacles secure. Yeah. So, Aries, you are going to arrange to move in with the Queen of Pentacles, or she's going to move in with you, or you guys are going to move and find a nice house somewhere, you know. She knows, she knows, the Queen of Pentacles is aware that you're going to stay legally married. Now, I don't know, with the Queen of Pentacles energy, she may be married and separated from her husband herself. So as far as she's concerned, she can't kick up a fuss if you're still legally married, right? So she's pretty happy with that. What you're nervous about is a Queen of Swords who's been waiting for you to return to her. You're worried that she's going to figure out that you've moved on with the Queen of Pentacles. So with a High Priestess, you're keeping that quiet. I think your Empress is going to be pretty happy because what you're deciding to do is not go through full divorce. You're saying to her, I will just give you a lump sum of money every month. You can stay sitting in the house. I can't give you as much as I used to, but at least you'll, you'll have enough to support yourself. 
whilst knowing areas that you're going to keep your ten of pentacles safe. So basically everybody's happy except the queen of swords. But you know, it's her decision to carry on waiting for you, Aries. She doesn't have to. So you seem to have got this all sorted out. Is there anything that you're worried about? Apologising to someone or you could be worried about the effect of all this on a child. What are you worried about? The fool that you are taking a bit of a risk, Aries, because this seems to be quite complicated. But it's going to give you the freedom and the happiness that you've been seeking. This is what you've been wanting, Aries. You've been wanting to try and find a way just to be happy. The sun, yeah. So, Aries, you're going for your happiness. This is you thinking, I don't want to be stuck to my codependent partner anymore, so she's got to know the truth that I'm moving out of living with her. I'm going to give her a small amount of money every month, but I don't plan on divorcing because I'm staying financially stable. You seem to have found a woman who's okay with the fact that you're going to stay married. So for you, that's great news. And you guys are going to be moving in together. The only sticking point is you nervous that there might be a set to in the future with a queen of swords who might have been a previous lover, someone that detached from you when she realised that you were going to be staying married. But as far as you're concerned, Aries, this is going to bring in a lot of happiness. It's a bit complicated, right? But, you know, you're taking a bit of a leap of faith and a risk to be happy. Is there anything, Aries, that you're hoping to accomplish here? Okay, three of pentacles. I'm almost, Aries, getting a feeling that you would quite like your karmic partner to meet and be okay with you living with your queen of pentacles. I mean, ideally, you'd want everyone to be all right with the situation that you've managed to achieve. I don't want my karmic partner to be jealous about the fact that I'm moving forward with the Queen of Pentacles. And I don't want my Queen of Pentacles to put pressure on me to divorce my Empress. What I'd ideally like is for everybody to get on, right? You may dream, Aries, of one day your wife sitting down and having lunch with you and the woman that you're going to be living with. It's as if that would be ideal, but it may be early days. <laughs> oh, guys. So I think this is going to work out, Aries. You're just going for your happiness, to be honest, you know, and good for you. And as long as your karmic partner's okay with you leaving, and I think she's going to be because you're going to give her a small amount of money every month, then great. <laughs> Everyone's happy. So my lovely Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.